Good morning, everybody. Good morning, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. This is Chrissy T, and I'm back with some tea. Honey, listen. Young Jock and his wife, Kendra, are back in the blogs, facing yet another storm. So for those of you who don't know, Young Jock is a rapper and a reality TV star from the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and his wife, Kendra Robinson, also gained her fame on the show as well. So recently, there's been a viral video showing Young Jock talking to a unidentified woman that is now sparking suspicions of infidelity. However, Young Jock denied any romantic involvement and clarified that the woman wasn't Kendra, but however, he was not cheating. Now, this relationship has always been rocky, especially with Young Jock's cheating allegations. I mean, the man had a baby before they married, and I believe he had a baby during the marriage. I mean, the man has been sleeping around. We know his track record. He hasn't been faithful to not one woman. And Kendra, you knew this. Um, she had to confront quite a few women on the show. Um, so yeah, you know who you marry, girl. So Young Jock on his radio station, he talked about the incident. And he also said that Kendra is now threatening to divorce him. So I'm going to show y'all this video and y'all tell me what y'all see, because in the video, number one, they were too close. Okay. It looked like she was, you know, fussing at him. And at one point he grabs her arms or her hands inside his hands. Now a married man shouldn't be doing that with no other woman. I mean, perception is key. People walk by and they see you, a married man, this close on this woman. And they looking at the body language. It could be, it could be perceived as cheating. So I'm going to show y'all this video and then y'all will hear his response. Young Jack in the streets morning, take over Miss Shanika shouted, shouted. And this morning, uh, I don't know how I be ending up in the hot seat, dog. You I, don't? No, I don't. You be living. I mean, listen, I, I wake up. Well, I didn't even wake up. You called me last night. I showed sure hell did. You said, my hey, phone mine. was going. Brrr. You said, say, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to check what's going on. Your name getting crazy. I said, what? I look on the internet. Mm-hmm. And here's this, what, 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 what blog is that, Gossip in the City? Yep. It posts this video. Mm-hmm. Now, first and foremost, it says. They had the exclusive on your <laughs> They said I was cheating, said I was holding hands, and I was cuddling. You want me to get the exact thing that they That's, said? Those are the main things that they I'm, damn said. Trust me, I nah, know. I may help you I been, out. I, been, I, had to, I, I couldn't even sleep. So what they said, but why did you like the post, Jack? I didn't even try to like it. You did? Yeah. You probably looked at it so many times. Okay, three days after his wife gave him a nice shout out. Mm -hmm. They spelled that wrong. On Instagram, he cheated on her. Young Jock, and they spelled your name incorrectly, cuddled up with another woman who is not his wife. Okay, now when you look at this video, if y'all go to Gospel in the City magazine, I ain't trying to put no light on it, but I'm dealing with this at home in real life right now. Mm -hmm. So ever Does since I called like you last night, you've been fighting for your life? <laughs> yes <laughs> I woke my wife up and said hey let me before this, you wake up in the morning to any of this that was player no that was real that was the thing you supposed to do hey I don't want you to wake up and your phone you got 80,000 messages like girl because then she would have had time to plan your death like while you were at work so she, it would have been the perfect execution but no, 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 no let me ask you this <clears throat> you look at this video am I cuddled up 
Let me let me look at it. Am I cuddled up? That's not cuddled up. Excuse me, bailiff. Can you bring the evidence to? um, Am I cuddled up? Am I holding um, hands? Let's see. No, this person really looks like they're explaining themselves. No, actually, let's go back to a few days ago mm-hmm. when, when I was in the when I, I was in the blogs, but somebody was in the blogs for doing something to Tamar Braxton. A young lady said something about Tamar, mm-hmm. and it creates it created an incident, and she was upset because her and that person were were cool. Mm-hmm. They are cool. Right. And so she was upset that all this was going on. I'm just sitting there looking. I'm like, I walked out the door. We're filming Love and Hip Hop at that. I walk out the door. It's cameras everywhere. So y'all got to be like, like, come on, quit playing. I walk out and I see this going on. And I'm just sitting there in the video. And I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have so, to do with it. do you think somebody from Love and Hip Hop took a picture and sent it to this site? You know, I don't know. I don't know if somebody did that. I don't know if, if somebody was just being messy trying to do that. But it's an issue because... It's like, you can't do nothing. The angle, it looks like our hands may have touched, but the, the blog says, we're holding hands. Oh, Kendra the blog on the line said, right now. She is calling you the blog, to patch her in. The blog said, I was cuddling. The blog said I was cheating. But if you look at the video, I'm doing none of that. I'm standing there, standing on business. I'm not even talking. I'm just looking. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't know what to tell you. I don't got nothing to do with that. If Kendra called me, I'm going to answer. If she call, well, she should call you. Okay. I'm at work. I, I'll call I definitely want to hear what she has to say about it. We should call up. We should get on the line. I I think we should. I think we should. I think it's fair. I think because I just feel like we report news every day. Yes. We see stuff <clears throat> and we report it. I'm not gonna <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not gonna go with a the false nuts narrative. Are trying to come up that you just ate a while ago. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know from you if you saw this video. What does it look like I'm doing in this video? I'm I just need to know. Jasmine, I personally don't think he did nothing wrong. When I saw the video, I was like, I mean, it looked like the girl might have been trying to talk to him. I didn't see no cuddling. I didn't see no cheating. I thought it was a reach. I saw the comments. I was like, y'all crazy. So I'm with Jack on this. I do apologize. To me, it looked like he was inviting her to R&B Thursdays. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for your call. <laughs> Also, um, so my husband wanted to see the video and I sent it to him and he said he's doing nothing wrong but trying to diffuse a problem to me. It just looked bad, um, but he's doing nothing wrong. And then he said it's hard living this life. <laughs> no, it really is. So I just got a text from my wife. She's, uh, it's, a, it's a text it's a, to me and her mom. She said, I'm divorced and I see your mom. Uh, a blog has accused him of cheating on me, oh. so I'm done. Like, that's what I'm dealing with in real life. Like, in real life, see what it says? Yep, the girl who used to work for him. So, I, this is what I'm really dealing with. And that's, uh. and that's, I'm going to be as transparent as I could be because this is what happens when you when you play like this. You play on people's lives. You, you play on whatever they may be dealing with. And they have to deal with real circumstances. So, this is what I'm dealing with this morning. Uh, Yeah. Jock, you cheating on your wife minutes, okay, within minutes of her posting you up on her Instagram is nasty work. It is nasty. Kendra girl, I don't I never understood how women who are just educated, beautiful, she don't need his money. She's an attorney, she has her own. She's helping him care for all nine of his kids. Okay, which is, you know, that's a wife's job, I guess. But how? You can have any man you want, honey. If Idris Elba was single, you can have him. But you want it, Jock, I don't I don't understand. Is it the lifestyle? I don't know. The fame? What is it, girl? Don't get me wrong. Jock is a good father. He cares for all his kids. Um, but he's a terrible partner. He is a terrible partner. And she's been putting up with his antics for 10 years. Okay, this is how long he was on Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. 10 years. And out of the 10 years, there have been multiple women coming forward with receipts of being with her husband. Even before they got married, she was uh, women were approaching her about her man. And I feel like Jock is going to continue to 
be unfaithful because he knows that she will continuously take him back. So, I mean, why stop if she's going to always forgive him for it? Now, she's threatening to leave him. I do not think she's going to because, she, again, she's done the same thing for 10 years since they've been on the show. They've been on and off. She's not going anywhere. But I do hope Jock could get his stuff together because he does have a wonderful woman in his life. Not to mention, he was married before and uh, was doing all this cheating. Insanity, um, Kendra, dating the same man, expecting different results. And when he was explaining what happened, apparently this young lady had issue with, with um, Angela Stanton King who posted a post about being with Tamar's man. And she was joking. But what does that have to do with him talking to this girl? If she had an issue with that, shouldn't she be talking to Angela and not Jock? It makes no sense. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, if you made it this far, give the video a thumbs up. Um, hit the post notification so that you will know when I upload a new video. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.